Good evening. We are here to talk about team leaderships. I have a few questions that I want to answer and hopefully we'll give you an overview and a better idea of how beneficial team leaderships are in churches and ministries and even in companies. Um, I have a few questions I want to answer. And so why? Why team leaderships are important? Team leaderships are important because we need to realize that we are not made to be alone. We are not made to uh, work alone. We are not made to tackle the struggles in life by ourselves. So coming together as a team, whether it's two, three or more, adds gifts and differences to a group of people that can highlight the best from each and make a whole as a body, as the body of Christ, everyone brings to the body the best they have. Um, that makes a good team leadership to take on struggles and troubles and solutions and ways and visions and everything that we want to accomplish in churches, ministries and companies. Where in the Bible do we find its foundation? The foundation, the strongest foundation I have found in the Bible for team leadership is uh, the Creator. God, the Creator as Trinity, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They form a team of three, not only to create the world, but also to bring redemption to the earth and salvation to all mankind. They are still working together in this um, and they have include us to work with them in this effort to restore the whole earth, all humanity to God the Father. We see it um, in the first humans created, Adam and Eve. Um, Adam was alone. Uh, the father says, you need a teammate. I'm going to make a woman that can help you. Then they grow into families. Um, thousands of years later, Jesus comes and he chooses 12 people to be his team leadership into what he was coming to do. He teaches them, he shows them how to do what they needed to do. He trains them to be then left alone here to do the job that he uh, had left to do for us. While he was here, he also uh, chose 72 in the Bible that he sent by twos, reinforcing again that we should not do things on our own, that having help is always better. Um, what are the benefits of team leadership? Benefits of team leadership are like a road to wholeness. A team that can come together by twos and then the third one and that fourth one going to the second one and always allowing the one another makes us better. It makes us figure out what's good about us, what's not working about us, and it makes us change into a transformation into being more like Jesus. It's an iron sharpened iron. Um, I think that that's the greatest benefit of team leadership to be growing as the body of Christ into a whole body, one body expanding its territory into each other and then to lost souls and into salvation for the lost. There are key ingredients to leadership teams to thrive. I chose two. Um, the first one that I chose, of course, is diversity. I'm a very uh, different person to the people that I work with in, in ministry. And I think that is important because by working with different people, uh, diversity, people that are very different from me, I have learned uh, cultures. I have learned from each person um, a form, a way of being that can be uh, extended to a group of people that are like them, um, different countries, different uh, races, different um, 
different social status, everything helps if we are willing to learn from one another. So that's a key ingredient to make a strong team that can reach out to all kinds of people. Now, the other thing, key ingredient for a team leadership to thrive is decision make it. Decisions are the direction that we're gonna take as a team, the direction of, that we're gonna take as um, ministry and where are we gonna go. Decisions should not be made in a minute, should not be made in the moment, they should be uh, staged in different steps. So the different steps for decision making should be um, the concern, the opportunity for everybody to come together and bring their questions, their concerns, their um, the things that they want to do, the things that they don't understand. Not only that we all grow together into this decision, but uh, that we can take steps towards the solution. Who's gonna do the task? Who is gonna fulfill the goal? Who is best? to do this and who is learning from this. All those things come together into decision make it. And so it has to be organized. It has to be something that it has been set in steps. The first step that I think that our churches need to do into uh, moving towards team leadership is as always a change requires repentance we need to recognize the need to unload our heavy weights as leaders and to know that we can carry these burdens with these, with one another and when we learn that i think god will start move and he's already moving into bringing people into our lives that can work with us uh, he changes things he uh, makes us excited about gifts from other people that can add into ministry. And as he is doing those things, we are learning about team leadership and how to work together and how to carry on a strong uh, way into ministry, into reaching others into the Great Commission, how to help the world understand that we are born to be with one another we are born to be all one body that fits perfectly together beside each other thank you have a good day i hope i um gave you a good overview and that you will be interested in learning more about it